Welcome to my office. Brian here with you now. We're going to take a look at this 17th century book. It's in physically poor condition. The covers are both detached. This rear cover obviously is a later replacement. The spine is perished. The leather's dried and chipped. And this front cover is also uh, detached. In fact, the text block split uh, splits in two like this and it's because this book has literally been read to this condition and consulted. It is a 17th century Mathematica book by Edward Storey who died early uh, at the beginning of the 17th century. Uh, the introduction here, the preface, is in Latin uh, and as is the text itself. What I'll do now is basically just flip uh, through the book so you can see the contents the reason uh, that uh, I'm offering uh, this book in this condition uh, is uh, because it is uh, very rare. It's also uh, got a series of these copper engraved plates uh, that I'll show as we go through the book that uh, relate to the text and are very interesting in the context of this discussion, which is essentially uh, math and it's applied uh, uh, its application to other topics. And we see here, I think that this book actually bumps into a sort of metaphysical uh, and a, an attempt to explain the universe uh, using mathematics. These are very nice celestial uh, orbit uh, diagrams here. Uh, seasonal rotations and the moon and the sun and eclipses and so on as they relate to mathematics. Little sphere, the, the world in double hemispheres at the bottom of that. It's a very interesting image right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is bumping right up against using math to explain uh, the structure of the universe and the known world. And here we have it for a discussion here on optics, math, and as they relate to optics, camera obscura uh, type of uh, subject matter. And like so on. And hold on here, I'm going to set this rear plate, uh, rear cover down. There's a music, it's also math as it relates to music, composition, and so on. The book appears to be complete. It uh, ends here, fini. And then we have the index, like so. And so the book is complete, just in very rough physical condition. Uh, and it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.